In a lunar greenhouse, we won't even grow crops in dirt. That's much too wasteful. We'll use a new concept called cable culture. Cable culture is the heart of the inflatable lunar greenhouse. And how it works is that the plants are grown in this envelope and Velcro closes the flap on the top of it and they grow out and the roots are in the bottom and the nutrient flows around the roots. It's a nutrient film technique system, NFT, and it's strictly a hydroponic system. The only material that is required is the small amount that the seedling is grown in and that can be many things like coconut husk or rock wool or something like that, but it's very small and uh, most of the plant just grows in the nutrient. Much of this work has been done already with the Mars greenhouse that we fabricated. We fabricated a single unit to demonstrate the, the cable culture growing system, which is the heart of this greenhouse application. It's a membrane system that is able to be folded up and deployed with seeds in it so that once the habitat is deployed and the greenhouses are deployed, then this cable culture will unfold and nutrient can be started and the plants will start growing autonomously without having a crew there to do it. The plant root is in the bottom here and the plant grows up through the top and this is fastened around the seedling and then a cable is stretched from each end of the greenhouse and then it overlaps this part of this flap and we've been quite successful with growing everything from beefsteak, tomatoes, strawberries, we've done potatoes, uh, potatoes lettuce, uh, all sorts of stuff. So it, it's a good growing system and, and it holds the stem and the plants have to be supported by wires if they're a tall plant, but if they're like a strawberry, they just grow on either side of it. What makes cable culture such an ideal technology is that, as you can see, that envelope can be folded up and uh, made to be very, very small for uh, transport. And once it gets there, it is deployed, capable of holding up many different types of plants that we've tested with hydroponics. It does the job nicely. By not having your plants growing in any sort of soil or any sort of uh, material that doesn't compost, you know, by having just roots in there, you can take everything and throw it into the composter that's not eaten. Now, if you have, if you grow in regolith or soil or any, any sort of uh, inorganic material, then it plugs up your composter. So by sticking strictly with biological material in the whole loop, it's a huge advantage. NASA believes that if we can supply 50% of the total calories from the greenhouse, then we can recycle 100% of the total oxygen demand and recycle 100% of the water.